Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new video, Final Fantasy XIV. So, uh, last time we've dealt with Remu, and the next patch is upcoming on this next uh, Tuesday. We'll have something near about as five trial and even a new dungeon, so this should be interesting, although I'm not entirely sure whether the new version of Eden will actually be four fights this time around. They might be keeping a lot of their secrets closed this time around. But anywho, uh, now it's time to report to my mommy Minfilia, so let's do that. I actually have no idea where we're going, so that'll be a surprise. Minfilia has some correspondence she wishes to share with you. Okay, let's do that. Now the matter of Remu has, for the present, been put to rest. There is something I would show you, Kukumo. Okay. It's a letter of thanks signed by the leaders of the Orzian Alliance, acknowledging the Scion's tireless service to the realm. In, it mentions, in particular, the names of all the defeated primals, Ifri, Titan, Garuda, Good King Mogul Mog 12, Leviathan, and now Remu. One of these is not like the others. <laughs> Needless to say, there is only one among our number to have faced them all. And through these words of gratitude were addressed to our order as a whole, I feel that they were meant for you above all others. I, too, must offer my heartfelt thanks for all that you have done. In the course of your duties, you have never once failed to answer my call to harms, even at 3 a.m. in the morning. You are a true hero, Kukumo, and Eorzea is that much safer for your presence. Pray do not misunderstand me. I said safer, not safe. I know only too well that we can ill afford to lower our guard. The Asians may be relied upon to sow chaos in this realm, until such time as they are forced to stop. Why, even without their encouragement, you may be assured that man would form and strife on, its own, on his own. And that is to say nothing of the beast tribes. Unless we learn to live in harmony, the primals too will return to plague us again and again and again. And yet, despite all of this, your deeds serve to inspire the people, to give them hope for a better tomorrow, and there is no greater gift. That we may have the courage to strive for what might otherwise seem an impossible peace, we owe in no small part to the dangers you have faced on our behalf, and the people you have won over to our cause in so doing. Our list of enemies has ever been long, but think of the allies with whom we are now blessed. Of the sylphs of Little Solace who wish not of conflict. Of the Alamegans and the Domans who stand with us, determined to halt the dread march of the Empire. And then there is Sid and the Fellowship of Noah, racing to unlock the mysteries of ancient Alag, that we might be spared the horror of another Ultima weapon. They are of course referencing to the Crystal Tower series of raids. Of course, when speaking of our greatest allies, we must not forget those closest to us, by which I mean our fellow Scions. Thanks to their many and varied talents, our order is uniquely equipped to combat the far-reaching corruption of the Asians, and combat it we shall. Oh, there's the peanut gallery. Your enthusiasm is truly heartwarming, antecedent. Given our embarrassing wealth of allies, I trust it will not inconvenience you unduly if I absent myself for a time. Oh, that's Alphino. Still as glib as ever, at least at this point. Alphino, I take it that troubles in Ulda no longer require your attention. Yeah, done rescuing little ladies, huh? There are yet some rumblings of discontent, but the air of simmering violence is largely dissipated. Tis to report such that I stand before you now. That, and to speak with you concerning the new organization we discussed. Ah, I have a message for you from Ella. Ahem. You recall the refugee girl? The one whose parents were missing. They were found unharmed. She wished me to pass on her thanks to you. Why, Alfino, am I to understand that you made the effort to remember the poor girl's name? I look forward to reading all about her in your report. I do hope you left nothing out. Oh my. Pugamo. 
You have been away from Revenant's toll for some time now, I believe. Might I suggest that you put the affairs of the realm to one side for the moment, and take this opportunity to reacquaint yourself with the town. Which reminds me, Slabborn but recently inquired as to your whereabouts. I believe he has some small matter he wishes to discuss with you. Why not oblige him with a visit? Okay. That is taken care of. This thing uh, mentioned about the organization that Alfino said is something that's going to develop a little further into the story. But hey, after we parted in Ulda, I paid a visit to the refugees. Though a fundamental solution remains far off, I believe that at the very least there, there should be no armed uprising in the near future. I am given to understand that we resolved the matter of Remu. I will ask Minfilia for a full report when next we speak. You have done well, Kukumo. I praise for such a small man, but then again I'm a Lalafell. Eh. I'll actually have to train my white mage staff pretty soon. I feel like I'm saying that every time, but it's been quite a while since I last actually played this. Been very busy. Hopefully, uh, my interest will be a lot more rekindled once the next patch hits. We'll have a lot of stuff to look, look uh, work toward too. Aside from leveling other classes, I didn't have much to work on lately, so... It's tough to get things done without a goal. Oh-ho! I see my fine adventurer friend has returned! The dust of the road yet clinging to your boots. You the Scions have no work for you this day, then. Hmm, the antecedent sent you my way, did she? Well, it is not urgent, but I could certainly do with your help. You see, Revenant's Toll has become something of a favorite destination for adventurers. Part of that is due to the town's growing fame, but a goodly number of green heroes to be come here to follow in your footsteps. And what I, when I say green, I mean fresh out of the ground. Don't know one end of a sword from the other, green. I've done what I can, but what they really need is a good talking to from someone they respect. An adventurer who has done it all. Hi, Kukumo, that would be you. And naturally, the one lass who would most benefit from your wisdom is nowhere to be seen. She was off to slay Hapalitz, and was due back for some time ago. Eh, likely got herself in over her head as usual. Now that I think about it, this may be the perfect opportunity for you to treat her to a demonstration of your skills. I'd consider it a personal favor if you would head out to the singing shards and show that amateur how it's done. If I must. That's actually pretty close. We've been there a few times, if I recall, partly with me being lost. Eh, but that ain't the first time that happens. Anywho. But yeah, it's becoming more and more important for me to actually hurry up and finish a Realm Reborn before they actually decide to, uh, shall we say, prune the quest of the pointless busy work. I'd like to keep this there, if only for posterity. Sure. I doubt anyone is ever gonna get the time to go through the whole experience, but hopefully if someone does, he'll enjoy it. I know in the last few years I've actually improved my quality quite a bit. It's actually a bit of a weird story. I actually started at 1080p with everything, and well, that didn't work quite as well as I would have hoped. Partly because... Um, my computer couldn't handle running both the game and recording at the same time. Now at 6... Uh, uh, what was it? I think it's 680p, something like that. Anyway, so now that I've gotten to a lower resolution and uh, reduced the number of frames per second, I can actually get an experience that doesn't just freeze up for no reason. That was embarrassing, when, particularly when we did some of the... Uh, the dungeons back in the beginning of Shadowbringers. That was the first time I actually managed to get uh, something that crashed consistently so that I could actually fix it. We also had trouble with Titania, that was a little annoying. Anywho, that thing is dead, and oh, joy, a Catwoman! Struggling adventurer, damn near pissed myself back there. I was hoping to find my myself a little one, but the fates went and threw the meanest bugger and all of Mordona at me. Typical. Hold up, you're Kukumo Lalakumo, ain't ya? 
The Kukumo Lalakumo. Seven hells, you're flippin' famous. And you're twice as tough as they said you were and all. Bugger me, I can't believe I'm talking to the man himself. Aw, and now you've gone and seen me at me worst. Twas me bleeding pet's fault, I tell you. Doesn't listen to a damn thing I say. I know another lad of hell that has the problem. That and the fact that none of me so-called mates offered to help. When I told them I was off to get some hapalets, hap most of them gave me a confused ha huh, or hmm. Like I was talking out of me arts. You, uh, don't agree though, right? Actually, that's usually how it works when you ask for help with conventional quests in uh, free companies. Huh? Gods, no, not you two. That's the f final bleeding straw, that is. Sniffle, I was hoping you of all people would understand. I mean, it ain't adventuring if you don't take a few risks, right? Alright, maybe I am out of a bit of me depths here. I'll be more careful, I promise. It's a shame that Kukumo got hidden by this bush here. But no matter, that is taken care of, so we can return to Slavborn. Got quite a bit of gill here. And no real way to actually transfer them back to rain. But then again, on this we need to at least uh, finish Heaven's Word so that I've got... Uh, the complete experience up to Shadowbringer, at least. Hey there, Han. Ah, Kukumo, you have my thanks. The last I sent out to instruct Trudge back into town looking properly chastised. I thought a lesson from you might pierce that obstinate skull of ours. Nothing I said seemed to work. Truth be told, she seemed more inclined to listen to the rustling of my beard than anything which came out of my mouth. Ahem. <clears throat> but now that you have demonstrated the skills she yet lacks, it will not be long before our adult painted peers tell her here the tale. They will soon realize that one does not become a hero in a day. It requires dedication and perseverance, and learning from each task you undertake. There are no shortcuts, eh, Kukma? Well, I did kill a few gods, just saying. Picking up the sledge. Slapborn is concerned for the Scion's receptionist. Gods, would you look at all those people? Seems they're carting in adventurers by the wagon load, and more than a few are eager to rap on the Scion's door. I wonder if this constant flow of aspiring heroes is what has Tetaru looking so perturbed. She might she might be she could use a friendly ear, hmm? Okay. Takes a lot of hell to no one, you know? And yes, there are no Latifel jokes in Shadowbringers, seeing as I'm actually playing my Rogue God in there. There she is. Hi, dear. Hello, Kukubo. What might I... Oh, Slabborn thought I could use a friend, did he? What a sweet man. Though I did not think my fretting so obvious. Well, I suppose there's no sense in hiding it now. It is time to reveal my little secret. Okay. Ha! Huh. Hee hee! It quite suits me, don't you think? But it's not simply for show. I've been learning the mining trade. Why, you might ask. And therein lies the source of my dour demeanor. Ever since we relocated to Rising Stones, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn have stepped out from behind the curtain, so to speak. Our victories over the Empire have granted us a certain degree of fame, and many budding adventurers have traveled from afar with the intention of joining our ranks. And while I welcome each new member that takes up our cause... We have too little coin! <laughs> Spoken like a true Doomfolk. As I'm sure you are aware, we are a strictly neutral organization and ensuring that neutrality means limiting the funds we accept from outside sources. Scions do receive various means of support from the three major nations, and the Levier twins are quite generous with their family's coffers, yet the modest income cannot keep pace with our day-to-day -day expenses. There is also the sundry donated material, of course. Those are delivered to the Adventurer's Guild and swiftly allocated to the expansion of Revenant's Toll. While I'll cheerfully leave the toppling of primals to you, it is my duty to balance the books and fight the demons of debt. On my honor as a receptionist, I will raise the necessary coin with my own two hands. Yeah, that sounds like that's gonna go well. 
But actually picking up a Dragathering trade, or more specifically cra crafting, is actually a good way to make money in this. Gathering, perhaps not nearly as much. But if you do those uh, hourly things... Uh, so basically the way I'll explain it is that uh, based on 24 hour, there are sometimes rare nodes that appear throughout the world. And this is usually how that you can make big money here, to try to craft stuff that's actually really rare. You can make quite a bit of gil quite quickly too. I even paid for this sturdy mining attire out of my own purse. Which makes it doubly aggravating that my custom-made sledgehammer has yet to arrive. I scrimped and saved especially for that tool. Kukumo, if you would help me see the Scions survive this fiscal disaster, then I would ask that you travel to the Blacksmith's Guild in Limsalominsa and demand they hand over my commission at once. Oh, and regarding your travel expenses, I'll have to check our available funds. Once you have my sledgehammer, pray leave it with Flamin. I shall be out digging up riches, be the best I can with the equipment I have. Crystal clusters, here I come. Yeah, crystal clusters aren't quite as expensive as they used to be if memory serves. But again, it's been quite a while. I've been kind of uh, slacking off since... Uh, uh, what was it? Stormblood. Yeah. So anyway, back to Limsalominsa to pick up that sledgehammer. So this is the quest that it was. We're going to spend quite a bit of time with Taru today, it seems. Well, that is fine. So, Blacksmith's Guild. Uh, that was close to the Culinarian's Guild, I think. Gee, I don't remember. Let's see. Upper decks. Uh, closer to the F castle then. Alright. I actually don't know much about the Blacksmith's Guild. You'll notice all of the hearts around here and everything. That's because uh, it's St. Valencian's Day. Or just Valencian's Day, I think. Anywho. So it's one of those uh, seasonal events going on right now. With some really strange Ellis and people. Anywho. Retile. Oh. We weren't going where I thought. The other girl must be the weaponsmith. What can I do for you, lad? If you're looking to sign up, Renwolf over there will run you through the initiation. Eh? You hear about the commission? Something weren't delivered? No, that is passing strange. Unless it uh, were an ill-induced dream, I'm fairly certain Mr. Estitaru's tool were shipped off days ago. I'm not like to forget the forging of a sledge what needed flowers engraved on the head. Could be the porter met with misfortune on the road. If the blokes we employ are in town, then you'd find them south of the Octown, on one of them empty landings. Seeing as we've heard not one way or the other, though, I'd be of a mind to cast some doubt on their whole operation. Ah, uh, what an upsetting business. I might need a pint or two to put it all behind me. So a drunkard, then. That's not unusual in Limsalomins, unfortunately. So that would send us to the Fisherman's Guild, then. Huh. Alter as a final name. Rixia Alter. Rixa Alter, actually. That reminds me of something from Azure Lane with alter version, or alternative, if you will, of existing ships. Crosswave actually came out recently, although I've been wanting to finish another game before I actually get working on it. You might see a video at some point. Although, ki a warning to the kittens, that game isn't suited for children, unfortunately. Although it is class for 14 years and older, which I find a little disturbing, but no matter. Yeah, we are. Oh. Ain't that near where the dancer quest happens? Hmm. Never mind. Bugger off, I have work to do. Okay. Slash doubt. You question the sickly porter. Eh? A delivery from the smithies to Mordona? How the bloody hell should I know? I just saw the crates. Hang on a moment. You said Mordona, hi? 
My mate was meant to see a shipment up to Revenant's toll a while back, but took ill just before he was due to leave. Not to worry, I said. I'll take it there on me very own. I bugger it. Well, we got bleeding busy, didn't we? And I figured someone come looking if their precious package didn't arrive any road. And here you are. The crate you want is back there someplace marked and all. You can grab it your own self. Yeah, tough to get good services these days. Especially since they expected us to hightail it all the way to Vilbrand. But never mind that. Vilbrand being where Limsa Luminsa is located, obviously. We didn't see much of Vilbrand, actually. Although I suppose that might be because Limsa Luminsa is all there is there. But then again, what do I know? I'm not very good with maps in this. It was one thing that uh, World of Warcraft said when reflecting some of the stuff. They actually regretted being too literal with their actual maps. So did they so did they in this particular game. That's why they're doing this little cloudy things as they start revealing things. Although at some point I feel like the map might get a little too small. That's where the reflections might come in. Greetings, Kukumo. Titaru made mention of a missing delivery. Were you able to coax her commission from the Blacksmith Guild? We sure did. Wonderful. I shall keep it here with me until Titaru returns from her mining expedition. She is not one to approach matters by half, is she? The Rising Stones couldn't ask for a more able administrator. Still, I am somewhat worried for her well-being. I realize Taru means to mine and not more, but even the outskirts of Renovin and Stoll are not free of prowling dangers. Would you mind tracking down our industrious Lalafell and see that she has not come to harm? As far as I'm aware, Titaru intended to start her digging in the hills near the Tangle. You may have to call out to attract her attention. Titaru is to be found mining northeast of the Tangle. First make your way to the destination marker. With the chat mode in, say, use your keyboard or the software keyboard to enter any phrase that contains the name Titaru to attract the receptionist's attention. So that's fine. Actually, gathering classes have this little thing uh, they, they called stealth, which actually allows them to mine without actually encountering monsters. Given the fact that they have actually no fighting skills, well, that's actually important. But the thing you need to realize, though, is that in order to access the various expansion, you actually need to uh, do a, a particular class, well, get a particular combat class up to the point where you can actually access the expansion. So you couldn't, for instance, uh, just decide to uh, keep crafting the whole way through. Although, you may decide to get a level boost now. Yeah, within both the stories and levels, such as it is. Okay. Titaru, I love you. No, that's not right. There she is. Breaking rocks and splitting stone. I'll raise a fortune of my own. Delving deep for precious ore. I'll take a rest and dig some more. Uh oh. These things have been known for devouring Lalafels. Toss aside the pebbles, toss aside the dirt, toss aside the scions who shirked their work. Ew, I think I'll call it a day. I'll make much better progress once Kukumo brings back my sledgehammer. Yes, I might even make enough money to indulge a little. Hmm. Blood carrot cur current tarts for morning tea every single day. Hmm. Was that someone calling my name? My! Wah! Look at those little stubby legs.
All right, time to deal with that thing. Eh. Oh yeah, that away. There he is, Malodorus Marble. That thing is big. It was uh, still uh, from those time where they kept making everything big. But then again, I'm a tiny lot of hell, so I might be misremembering things. Great twelves above! I thought I'd eaten my last current tart for a moment there. Thank you ever so much. I believe it is past time I return to the Rising Stones. I do believe so. Leave adventuring to the professionals. Alrighty! Let us be on our way and get our hands on some more pointless busy work. Actually, these aren't quite as bad as they used to be in the original uh, game. We're actually getting quests that aren't so bad at this point. Kukumo, I must thank you again! I received my commission from Flamin. The floral engraving is absolutely perfect! After nearly becoming dinner for Marble, though, I'm not so eager to head back out into the field. In any case, no more solo mining trips for me. I shall be sure to drag along one or two and the adventurer types to serve as bodyguards. I suppose I'll have to pay them, though. Well, no matter. That simply means I'll need to dig twice as hard. That's the spirit. Guardian of Eorzea! Titaru would have you indulged the attention of your young admirers. You've been an immeasurable help as always, Kukumo, but could you perhaps spare a little more of your time? To put the matter simply, the Roman children have been chattering about you endlessly. It would mean the world to them to see their hero again. If I must. There are the little Doman kids. You'll be seeing those a lot if you do some side quests and whatnot. So you might as well get used to it. Look, it's Mr. Kukumo. He's back from his adventures. We heard you were off fighting primals, and that there are some of the strongest enemies you could ever face. I wish I could have seen you in battle. You have no idea, kid. Anyway, we all want to be heroes too, so we finally formed our very own Doman Adventurers Guild to protect all the Domans. There's actually a side quest involving that. We'll probably have a look at it at some point. Oh, do you think you could train us today, Mr. Kukumo? Maybe you could show us how you fought the primals. What's all this commotion, then? I believe I've introduced these guys. Mr. Boulder, Mr. Kultene, did you know that Mr. Kukumo is back? Ori Boulder. So it would seem. Welcome home, Kukumo. My companion and I but recently became full members of the Scions, and I believe proper introductions have yet to be made. I'm known as Hori Boulder, and this bookish fellow is Kultene. Though we remain largely unproven as adventurers, we have taken it upon ourselves to instruct the Domin younglings in the arts of combat. Ah, I told you, Mr. Boulder, we are not younglings anymore. We are adventurers. And we were just asking Mr. Kukumo if he could give us some special training. I think we're ready to hunt monsters alongside him, don't you? Well, you've certainly been diligent with your drills, but I'm afraid the fiends of Mordona are still ever so slightly too dangerous for you. I have a counter-proposal. What if I were to cross swords with Kukumo? A demonstration of skill and arms, if you will. Hori, if I didn't know any better, and I do, I'd say you were merely seeking to test yourself against a legend. <laughs> well, mayhaps I am. But what the ma matter is the motive when the children stand to learn so much from the lesson? What say you, Kukumo? Would you consent to spar with me? Okay. Hooray! Where to have a tournament? Come on, everyone. We must prepare our gear for an outing. Do try not to disappoint them, hmm? 
have fate, Kultane. I shall summon every last ounce of my strength to make of this a worthy contest. The fields to the east of town should prove suitable for our purpose. I very much look forward to, to the bout. Well then, let us be on our way. All the other scions are busy discussing among our themselves. Probably have interesting stuff to say, but unfortunately, if I keep talking to everyone, we're never gonna make any progress, unfortunately. Uh. Why are you strutting about on a behemoth? <laughs> That's nonsense. The mounts in this game are a little weird. I never quite had the same impression as I usually do with uh, other games such as, say, World of Warcraft and whatnot. So, it was good of you to agree to this, Kukmo. I trust you are ready to begin. That I am. Time for an instance battle, then. Very well, let us not keep the younglings waiting any longer. Ahem, <clears throat> Ori, are you certain you wish to fight him alone? That is Kukumo, you face. What better way to test my mettle? Pray allow me to attempt the first round unaided. After all, it was this hero's legend that led me to join the Scions to begin with. Without Kukumo to inspire my efforts, I would not be half the warrior I am today. Your point is well made, but remember, this is for the children's sake, as well as your own. Should it appear the contest will end too swiftly, I shall add my spells to your blade work. Hello, you haven't begun yet, have you? Wait to put on the pressure, huh? Ida? What? Who are all these people? When I heard about your sparring match, I told everyone I could find. Th I thought you could use a crowd to share you on. Yes, and there are still more to come. When I mentioned Kukumo's name, the reaction was quite enthusiastic. Why, my own popularity seems but a sickly shade in comparison. You'd best claim victory, bringer of light. Your burgeoning reputation is at stake. Well, our teacher won't be beaten so easily. He's a master swordsman. You can win, Mr. Boulder. We shall soon see. On your guard. That's a terrible air color for a Rogadin, but no matter. Day and night I've honed my skills. Now comes the time to test them. Wow, that was quick. No holding back now, Zion. Ugh, such power! Tails barely do you justice. Mr. Boulder won't lose, will he? It's not over yet. Can't be. Aye, the children have the right of it. This time I joined the fray. On your feet, Hori. I don't think so. Always attack the mage first. I must admit defeat. It was an honor and a privilege. Feel kind like a bully right there. Oh no, he looks hurt. Mr. Kukumo is so strong, but you can't give up, Mr. Boulder. Can't disappoint the younglings. Rah! I don't think so. Might have been invincible for a short time, but he's dead. Well, not dead per se. You gasp! You have bested me, Huff! I yield! Gasp. That was incredible! You beat them both at the same time! 
I knew you couldn't lose, Kukumo. None can defeat the guardians of e the guardian of Eorzea. Frontier Hand. Experienced adventurer. Now I see why they send you to deal with the primals. I have much work to do if I'm ever to attempt the same. That's probably not a good idea. You're gonna end up tempered. You should really pass this information around. Otherwise people are gonna start getting ideas, you know? Then again, there's the fact that they seem to imply that somehow the Warrior of Light is extending his protection to the adventurers that help him. But anywho, Alfino showed up out of nowhere, so... Impressive as always, Kukumo. It is ever a pleasure to witness the spectacle of your martial prowess. And judging by the smiles on these many faces, they too appreciate the hard one strength that keeps the perils of the realm at bay. Guardian of Eorzea, yes. That is a most fitting title. You recall when first we met, it was at the memorial service for the Battle of Cartano. At the time, I was yet attempting to understand this land of Eorzea. I sought to grasp the reason why Grandfather willingly sacrificed himself to protect it. I shall speak plainly, my initial impressions were less than favorable. Dire problems abounded, and yet the effort I saw expended toward their solution was haphazard and half-hearted. I thought the Orzeans a foolish and childish people, as is usually the case for most Charlians. Considering the shambles their homes was in, I would not have been surprised if some had chosen to swear allegiance to Gaius and the order it proposed to enforce. The Legatus' single-minded military invasion precluded any such twist-switching of loyalties, of course. Were it not for a desire to continue Grandfather's legacy, I would have abandoned the realm to its fate long ago. The threats were too many, the nations too self-involved and unstable. Hmm. It was you who convinced me the salvation of Eorzea was possible. You can see how small I am there. It was you who taught me, through countless acts of bravery, that what my grandsire sought to preserve was not the land, nor its history, nor any single nation. It was the people, these wonderful, often infuriating, stubborn people that suffer blow after terrible blow, only to drag themselves back to their feet to face another day. Though he never put such feelings into words, I believe Grandfather's admiration for this inexhaustible courage grew into a fervent wish, a wish to aid Eorzea and its inhabitants in charting a course to the future. A wish that uh, has now become my own. I too will endeavor to take up the mantle of Guardian of Eorzea and champion these people who toil toward a better world. Our cause, however, is not a simple one. The troubles that plague us are of a scale that cannot be solved by the scions of the Seven Dawn alone. No, what is needed to tackle the root of the primal threat and effectively counter the schemes of the Asians is a new expanded organization that operates beyond the limitations of nations and borders. If you would aid me in building such an organization, then pray let me continue this discussion back within the walls of the Rising Stones. Elfino is scheming behind our back. Nothing good can come out of this. You've seen a shot of the crystal tower there. Nice. But anywho, back to Mordona. We were right outside too. Huh. Gotta give it to them, though. They got better at, uh, shall we say, telling their story as it is. Some of the stuff we're seeing right now is leaps and bounds better than what we saw early on. It's 
So, let's see what mommy has to say. Or Alfie knows which it is. Thank you for coming, Kukumo. The world shifts and alters, and we, my friend, must ever be one step ahead of the chaos. What I propose is the formation of a new organization, a group that shall pave the way for truly united Eorzea. Recruiting the realm, Alfino wishes to request your assistance for this new endeavor. Pray forgive me if I tread over old ground, but I would first speak of the grand plan. Since the advent of the Seventh Astral Era, the leaders of the three nations have been deliberating over an accord that seeks to bring the disparate forces of Eorzea together into a single entity. A realm-wide grand company, if you will. The military might of such an institution would be drawn from every corner of the land and directed against threats that no single nation could hope to overcome alone. Yet whilst the purpose of this hypothetical organization is undisputed, the logistics of its formation have become the source of endless debate. And the longer these discussions continue, the more I sense the impetus toward unification draining away. Thus have I been campaigning for the creation of what might be considered a trial company. It would be on such a, a much smaller scale than what we hope to eventually achieve, but capable of the same manner of unrestricted operation accorded to the Scions. It is my hope that the successful utilization of such a force will lend momentum to the lagging deliberations. Also, being a primarily military outfit, I mean to assuage fears of its misuse by placing the fledgling organization under the authority of the antecedent. The Scions work tirelessly to protect Eorzea and its people. But as you yourself have witnessed with the refugee revolt, there are limitations to what even we can achieve. With this new company under the Scion's command, however, we will be capable of responding to a wider range of difficulties without straining our resources or overtaxing your formidable talents. The goals of my proposed organization and those of the Scion's are ultimately identical, a point con conceded by all concern. But before I can move forward with establishing this precursor to the true border-spanning Grand Company, it is yet necessary that I visit the tree leaders and gain their official approval. A tiresome and time-consuming task, which is why I would ask that you accompany me on the journey and attend to the business of recruiting our inaugural members, while I am otherwise engaged with bureaucratic formalities. Thank you. It is reassuring indeed to know that the bringer of light in his discerning eye will be selecting our future allies. Our first destination will be Limsa Lominsa. Let us rendezvous at Bulwark Hall. If we must. So basically, the Scions are getting an army. Nothing can go wrong with that, can they? But then again, Alfino maintains that it's supposed to be temporary. Whether I believe that or not is a matter... A little more complex than that. Anywho, Bulwark Call would send us uh, actually close by. Oh, another half naked Catman. A Catman does what a Catman do. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm ready to ascend to the bridge and speak with Admiral Blowiswin. Lotiswin, uh, whatever. While the Admiral and I are finalizing per permissory boundaries and signing parchments, I would have you begin the recruitment process in earnest. I have, of course, endeavored to spread the word of our organization through various channels, but I believe a personal approach will reach many who may otherwise remain ignorant of this opportunity. As for potential members, it is of no matter should they already be pledged to another institution, only that they are willing to lend their strength when the situation demands it, and in the range in the countryside, the upper decks alone are populated with sufficient candidates to suit our purpose. 
Once you are satisfied with your recruiting efforts, meet me at the airship ticket counter, that we might prepare for the next leg of our journey. I'm not mistaken, yes there is a lift here which will allow us to go to the upper gates. So off to the drowning wench then. You could see that as the central point of Limsalominsa in a sense. So, let us see what we can get. Probably not a lot, unfortunately. Still, it's worth the effort. Hmm. Odd. So I suppose we'll be looking into pirates, perhaps? That doesn't sound right. Let's first have a look at the yellow jackets and see what happens. Ah, there's Rainer. The Commodore, if I recall. Master Alfino's new organization. Yes, I had heard of the, uh, the formation of his trial company was in the offing. Just with regret, however, that I must decline your invitation. As commander of the Yellow Jackets, the protection of Limsa Luminsa must needs receive my full attention. Well, that's unfortunate. Might be people downstairs, though. That's the Marauders Guild, if I'm not mistaken. Although, how we get down there, I kind of forgot. That away? Yes, that sounds right. Nothing. Unfortunate. Perhaps some of those pirates we spoke of earlier. Ah yes, I think I know who I'm looking for. Perhaps. Not who I was expecting, but hey, an organization with the freedom to operate with territorial impunity. I must say your proposal intrigues me. But the Krakens well know the, that there is a time to act and a time to watch, and I'm afraid this trial company of yours falls into the latter category. Unfortunate. There is an Eaterite that would make things a little quicker. We're going to be headed to the Aft Castle, which will also lead us to the Weaponsmith Guild, if I'm not mistaken. Or the Bismarck, I'm not entirely sure. Culinarian's Guild. Uh, no, that's not right at all. This is the Bismarck. Well, at least... Uh, things makes more sense now. Do 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 Roswen, the leader of the Bloody Sirens. Eh? Who in the bloody hells do you think you're talking to, Drylander? I'm a pirate, not some sodding knight in shining plate. If you're looking for a self-righteous fop, try knocking on that dandy car Carvelane's door. As I said. Shouldn't have expected much from the bloody Sirens. Eh. Strong e makes strong face, huh? Okay. Doesn't look like what I'm looking for. Blacksmith's Guild, eh? Alright. Or Weaponsmith, rather. Hananza. A precursor to your United Eorzean Grand Company? Hmm. While I do admire the scope of your ambition, my responsibilities here at Naldic and Vimelis keep me close to the forge. I have not the time to be traipsing hither and yon across the realm. Should you require my skills as an armorer, however, I might be willing to accept some special commissions. 
So she is the... Uh, I'm so confused about those crafting guilds. Ugh. Well, at least maybe we won't come back empty-handed to Alfino. That actually isn't quite as different as trying to build a free company, actually. Most people already got one, or are interested, or have uh, excuses. Me not having logged on on mine for a few months is a little worrisome as well. Oh well. No matter. Ah, uh, there's our guy. Real. Well, if it ain't Kukumo, I'd not forget a venturer brave enough or daft enough to seek to the shortcut into Titan's bedchamber. You remember old Real, don't you? Formerly of the Company of Heroes, Three Whistles at Bronze Lake. Aye, it ain't often I drag me arse out to Limsa for a drink, but I'm right glad I did. How fare you these days? Hmm? You're looking to put together a new crew? Top tier work? Ah, sounds like right luck it does. Alrighty, lad, count me in. The heroes may have gone their separate ways, but I ain't ready to climb into me grave just yet. Good on you. But well, that means we can return to Alfino at the airship landing. Limsa is a little confusing with all of those tears around and whatnot. Still manageable. It is rather impressive though, all built into rocks like that. There's the left attendant. Off we go. There's Alfino. Kukumo, your recruiting went well, I trust. I am curious as to how my proposal was received by the rough and ready folk of Limsalo Minsa. Ah, a member of the legendary company of heroes indicated his interest. Astonishing. I knew enlisting your aid was the right choice. Few could boast the acquaintance of such an elusive character. I too was successful in my task. The Admiral consented to sign all the documents requiring her approval. I can only hope that my visit with the Elder Seeds here proceeds as smoothly. Pray continue to on to Gridania at your own pace. I shall await your arrival at Nafika's altar. Well, off to New Gridania then. Much faster that way than by airship, that's for sure. Don't know why Alfino bother with those, really. Probably enjoys the quiet. Loves hearing himself a lot. Anywho, Conjurer's Guild. The difference between the leadership of uh, Gridania and the Conjurer's Guild kind of melds a little together. My audience with the Elder Seeds here is due to commence momentarily. I would be grateful if you would once more see to the task of recruitment here in Gridania. After you deem the well of potential candidates to run, uh, run drive, has run dry, let's rendezvous at the airship ticket counter as before. Alrighty then. Redonia is fancy, I can see why its housing district used to be one of the more popular ones. It's actually where I started. But I gotta say, uh, forests uh, aren't done so well in this particular type of games. Something I've complained about MMOs in general is that they all look muddy to me. Oh gods, can it truly be you? But by what fickle fortune must the first face I see upon my release be yours? Oh, Laurentius, the guy who uh, spied for the Garleans, eh? Eh? Could it be that you don't remember me? It is I, Laurentius, the man whose crimes you exposed. I was a whaler and a regular patron at Buscarum's. Yes, now I remember. Well, of course you do. 
I was beginning to wonder if Joel had changed me more than I realized. Now then, that I have any particular wish to be recognized after my shameful conduct. Hmm. The less said about my past, the better, I suppose. And what of you, adventurer? What business brings you to this part of Gridania? Recruiting, eh? And what is your policy on reformed convicts? As matters stands, the Wood Whalers will have not more to do with me. This... this may be just the second chance I was looking for. Revenant's toll, you say? I shall leave at once. You shall not regret this, I promise you. I am a changed man! Ain't the first time I hear something like that. I'm gonna regret it. Well then... Archer's Guild. Probably the closest to what we need. Oh. I'm completely wrong. That was Lancer's Guild. Huh. Seun Guild. Hmm. It's not often a guild officer such as myself gets recruited. And this company of yours certainly sounds to have some promise, but its duties appear less than focused. I must refuse your invitation until such time as your organization is more organized. Unfortunate. Ah, old butler dude, Ursandel. You would offer this old man a place in your company of champions? I am both puzzled and honored by your invitation. Pray forgive me, young master, but I cannot accept. I have sworn to abide here for whatever scant years remain to me, and bear responsibility for the evils my lady has wrought upon this land. Unfortunate. So yeah, if you want to know what uh, trying to build a free company feels like, well, there you go. Elian. Grandfather, you must call it a day. Let us return to the guild and rest ere your tormented back gives up on you for good. I'm terribly sorry, we were just... Oh, Kukumo, is in it? It has been some time since our paths crossed outside of Copper Bell Mines. Why, you were barely more than a novice adventurer then, but look how far you've come. Mother Mion tells me twas you who felt the fearsome black wolf. And now you seek your south stout-hearted souls to fill the ranks of a new order. Hmm, well your cause is undoubtedly just. My old companion here would be much relieved to see me in good hands. Yes, yes, I'll do it. This, this is the very thing I've spent my entire adventuring careers working toward. I shall join your company just as soon as I've seen Isildur safely home. Isildur isn't quite done yet. So, uh, we need to go through the inn in order to get to this particular ticket. Hmm. A cat man. How about that? Too many cats in this game. Now then, we're down in your Eaterite Plaza. Do 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 do. As you can see, a lot of colorful people around the Eaterites. If you want to hang around and see uh, what people are wearing, there are worse ways to occupy your time. Talking nonsense again, but no matter. What news, Kukumo? For my part, the Elder Seeds here was most amenable to our requirements. A former wood whaler and a seasoned adventurer, our company will not lack for variety, that much is certain. An interesting harvest indeed. Shall we strike into Ulda whilst the iron is hot? Let us meet at the Royal Promenade and endeavor to conclude our remaining business. Our journey draws to a close. 
if we must. So off to Ulda then. Our level is getting freaking high. It's a little scary really. Just shows how long the main quest is nowadays. Anywho. Oh. He's at Royal Promenade, is he? Uh, Chamber of Rule. Do keep in mind that I have to remember, remember the layout of all of those cities by heart. Well, da, the Gilded City, where one's fortune defines one's worth. I hope some manner of fortune is with us, and that this final leg proves as successful as the previous two. Might I suggest descending into the lower levels before beginning your recruitment efforts? I do not think the Sultana will take kindly to us poaching from her personal guards. Let us meet back here at the promenade when our respective tasks are complete. Good hunting, Kikuma. So, the lower levels. Okay, I see where we're going. So we're going to be going to starting to the market, rather. So, Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Let us see. Slim pickings from the look of it. Singot. Company that looks to cure the ills of the realm entire. Listen, friend, I can scarce bear the complaints of the next all over, let alone the conundrums of a neighboring nation. That's unfortunate. Nothing that away. Let's try the other side. Or perhaps more toward the entrance. That's actually a better idea. Might be some Alamegans down on their luck, eh? Landabert. Have you come to tell me the news, soldier? Well, I've already heard it. Seems the would-be savior of Uldah's refugees went and got himself killed. And not by your hand. He was just as much pawn as the hapless cast-off he sought to deceive. Eh? That's not why you're here? Aye, you'd be surprised what rumors drift down to Pearl Lane. I know of this glorious new company of yours, and just how far I'd go to avoid getting involved in it. Whispers on the street say your organization is funded by corrupt coin, by syndicate money. If you think you're recruiting for a just cause, then you're a bigger fool than I took you for. Bit grumpy, is he? Not that he doesn't have reasons to be, mind you. Let us see. Really? Weaver's Guild? Mm, that doesn't sound right to me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Orson. Name doesn't ring a bell, really. Oh, what a happy coincidence. Do you remember me, perchance? I am Orson of the Church of St. Adama La Landama. Thank you again for your timely rescue. And I must also thank you for preventing that fraudulent priest from preying on Drybone's less fortunate, a most upsetting business. Are you here with your companion, Tancred, was it? it? Ah, this new companion you seek then. Your proposed organization sounds a powerful force for good, but my place is at the church, with the children. Nevertheless, I wish you well in this undertaking. Ah, uh, this sanctuary is closed. Some black... Uh, some tomaturges might actually have been a good source. Sounds like we were going to the Weaver's Guild. That's a surprise. Not recruiting redolent rose, are we? Ah, Yellow Moon, of course. I'm sorry, you wish to recruit me? Is this some new-fashioned manner of propositioning to a lady? Well, I'm afraid you are wasting your time. This lady is already spoken for. Good day to you, sir. Uh, when you're rich enough to have no other concern in life. Yeah. Someday. Rather fitting considering that this is a Valencian's day. 
Unfortunately, Valentine's Day was yesterday for me, so... Eh. Let us see what we can find. Hmm. Gladiator's Guild, perhaps? Nope. Ah, Will Red, eh? That's a good idea, actually. So, oh, wait, you're the man who came to Little Alamigo looking for that masked devil? Who knows what might have happened if you hadn't? I'd probably be dead, and a whole lot more of my friends besides. We were such fools. Any road, that disaster really got me to thinking about our homeland and about the outsider who saved us from ourselves. I realized how easily I'd been manipulated and vowed to make myself a more worldly man, so here I am. A new company of champions, and you say it will take me to all corners of the realm. That sounds exactly like the kind of opportunity I need. And don't worry, I'm not the same stripling you met me in Little Alamigo. I've prepared myself to fight the evil I now know is out there. Well, you did mess with an Asian. But that's as good a uh, vote of confidence as any. Go back to the Chamber of Rule, then. Oh! Gold a guild seller. It's been a while. And apparently the six person off code is love. <laughs> How fair, Duke Kumo. What hidden gems did the streets of Ulda offer up to your unrelenting gaze? Hmm, a single Alamegan youth. Well, you've certainly given us an admirable start, even if our ranks are yet somewhat thin. In these troubled years following the calamity, talk of Eorzea's salvation must seem akin to grasping at clouds. But there are those who have risen to challenge nonetheless, and the hope that inspires these people was born in no small part from the victories you yourself have won. Thank you, Kukumo. I will not squander the precious gift you have placed into my keeping. These recruits will become the foundation of a new beginning. And yes, we are free to begin. As you have no doubt surmised, the Sultana also graced my trial company with her blessing. Our first wave of recruitment is over, the documents signed and the finances secure. There is not to prevent me from taking the next step. Which would be... You are concerned by the Syndicate's involvement, as was I. Thus was the origin of every coin of their contributions carefully scrutinized and recorded. This organization will not be built on corruption. So you say. Naturally, I would prefer not to rely upon the outside sources at all. But even my family's substantial coffers could not sustain a venture of this magnitude. Also about that sword you bought back in Stormblood. And as for the rumors and doubts surrounding this enterprise, well, such things shall plague us until the company has had a chance to prove its worth. It will not be an easy process, but we will earn the people's trust one success at a time. Speaking of time, we shall waste no more of it. Let us return to the Rising Stones and lay the first stone for our unite to the Orzia. Very well. Doot, doot, doot. I love that song. Sultana Dreaming, it's called. Old Dai is rather majestic. Poor thing. Tell me, General, what think you of Alfino's bold endeavor? I think it is more than bold, Your Grace. His organization would pave the way for a united Eorzea. Well do I understand his impatience, since facing the common threat of the Ultima Weapon, our nations have seemed farther apart, not closer together. 
Considering the many problems we face, should we not be glad that someone else is taking the initiative? We have all pledged our cooperation. Yet the grumbling continues behind closed doors. Ulda is not alone in her duplicity. I myself have doubts as to the good this organization will achieve. With the inclusion of the finest soldiers of the three grand companies, it promises to be a fearsome military body. But whom will it serve? Even under the watchful gaze of the Scions, it is not unthinkable that such a force could perpetrate a great wrong. She's not entirely wrong there. Does it not concern you that a significant proportion of its financial backing came from the coffers of the Syndicate? That those unprincipled worms might forge this extraordinary gathering of warriors into a private army? I have trust in the Scions, Your Grace. They have spared us no end of trouble at the hands of the Primals. If they seek reinforcements, I deem it unwise to deny them. As for their finances, full many gave generously. And though our nobles proffered a sizable sum, their coin did not spill from the pockets of Lolorito and his cronies. And what of the presence of our stalwart adventurer friend in this endeavor? I doubt the Warrior of Light would betray our cause. Yes, there is that, I suppose. Yet I have known people to change. Whether we will or no, the events of the Age hurl us this way and that, like a dust devil skipping across the sands. It should be noted that Naamo was actually named Sultana at five year old. Seeing people change, I can see it. Cannot be done about Telechi. I have explored all avenues available to us, Your Grace. But as Uldan Law now stands, we lack the evidence to convict him of any crime. To arrest him on spurious grounds would only play into his hands. He has all but committed treason! And yet we can do nothing? Then what good are government? What worth the royal house? How deplorable this mockery of justice! Just put people tracking him day and night. You'll find something eventually. Aww. Crying Lalafell. <laughs> Poor thing is under a lot of pressure. It is not over. Well then, back to Mordona. Ulda is an interesting city. Quite fun to uh, make as your home, but has rather a lot of different political elements in it. Anywho, let us report to our pal Alfino. Uh, that is not a journey I soon wish to repeat, but I cannot pause to rest. The culmination of all our efforts is at hand. I must see to the preparations of the inaugural ceremony. Thank you for allowing me to monopolize your services, Kumo. I'm certain the antecedent will be relieved to see you free for other duties. That she will. And as far as I'm concerned, I think that's gonna be enough for the time being. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, maybe leave a comment below. And that was the Great Pumpkin. Y'all have a pleasant time now. Bye-bye!